Good morning. Hey, what's happening, Internet? How's everybody doing? It's almost time for the Nintendo Direct Indie World 2024. I need to have cat cam open. There you go. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you guys are having a good morning. And uh, there is a problem with the likes and shares because YouTube is sus. <laughs> so, but we hope you guys enjoy the presentation anyway. And uh, it should be interesting. So we are currently in a game drought. Um, and even next week, the game drought won't really be over, even though Ninja Turtles and um, Sandland are coming out. Um, I think the game drought's going to last until the middle of May, when Paper Mario Thousand Year Door comes out. So, you know, if you're not a M-rated gamer, there's really not a lot of games that are new currently. <laughs> so, because Stellar Braid comes out uh, this week, I think, or next week? Next week. And that's a heavily M-rated game. And then there's another really um, big M-rated title coming out. Yeah. The E through T-rated games don't start up until, like, sometime in May. But anyway, uh, let us know if you guys are excited about the Indie Showcase. And uh, Nintendo will be starting at 10 a.m., so in two minutes. Yeah, she got a picture of Zelda because she's waiting. Zelda's waiting patiently. Well, it's hard for her to see her waiting because she's, like, literally not even looking at it. She looks angry, though. She does look angry. Indie World 2024. She's mm -hmm. cute. Well, I'm hoping Hi. there's some good indies uh, this year. Blue X says, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, I was just trying to get... Uh, like milk and cat food at the grocery store today. Mm. Somebody said, "Good morning. Can I help you with anything?" Like, oh my and gosh. I was just like, "Uh, no. I think I'm in the right aisle." And I pointed. I was like, "Juice." And I was like, "Thank you, though." What time did you go grocery shopping? Uh, it was pretty early. It was pretty early. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like either seven or eight. Oh wow. Um, so I was gonna try to go to the park before the indie showcase. Mm. I didn't end up getting there, but... Well, it's 10 a.m. Did it start? <clears throat> so, do we have to usually yeah. exit out of this? Like, doesn't this, like, the PlayStation is weirder than Xbox. Oh, my gosh. You're gonna... Try to click in right now. Mm. Oh, I guess it doesn't no, matter. No, it'll just start. It'll just usually. start. Okay. It starts there we go! There's a light bulb. <laughs> Indie World! Hello everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Amber Switch Amber and system. Tyler. Alright, let's get... Amber and Luke sounds uh, better. what was that? Oh, I'm just prepping for our first segment. Uh-huh. Well then, let's get going. Hey Micah, you ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello! Whoa! Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big <laughs> City a is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. The game idea originated when I was teaching my kids how to code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. We hope you love Kitty as much as we do. I think we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. Oh, Not cute. again. You're a curious little kitty in a big city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot, but you fell and now you're lost. Talk about a near catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate a vibrant city to find your way home. And there's plenty to do along the way. Like... Kawaii! Check your to-do list. Some of the city's animals have found themselves in hairy situations. And you can lend a helping hand. When? Uh, when? Maybe one of them wants something shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements to complete. Get petted by humans, knock things over, you know, normal cat stuff. Uh, Link oh, won't let us film him. We didn't mention kitty customization. 
collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats. When like is this cat ladybug, coming out? Shark, I must have it. And even a bunny. And can we customize the cat you to make it look however we want? Emotes whenever you want. Oh, that's a big. Oh, stretch. that's a realistic stretch. It's a great way to look cute while stirring up some mischief. You're tripping. Get people. ready to dig your claws in when little kitty yeah! city next month let's go switch may 9th pre-orders begin later Woo! today on nintendo eShop. Oh. okay let's go neon you ever get that feeling like you're meant for something more that's been kind of my deal since forever but now something's changed Ooh, way forward. Wait, how is way forward still considered an indie developer? And fly. Kotek needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it. Cool. Probably. Yars rising. Hey there. Emi Kimura here, aka Yar. If you want to use my handle, which you totally should, join me on a high-stakes sci-fi action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from WayForward and Atari. What started as your typical hacker-for-hire gig spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotek. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I meant year. No release <laughs> date yet, so way forward in Atari. So Atari's been demoted to indie developer. Oof. A journey of self-discovery awaits in this exploration-based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision eh. you make during your journey reveals a little more about who yeah, you I'm are. Yeah, I'm gonna say pass for me. And there are no right or wrong choices. As Travel much as I have fond memories of memories. Game Boy games, it's 2024. I I don't gradually piece together the like future. The, the being reminded that that's what gaming was like. <laughs> At Give the me end some of color, your, journey, you? your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. Will you end up as a proactive leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a strong-willed samurai? And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. Our customers here. Find out who you are in Refined Self, the personality test game, launching as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. Cool. So let's switch first. Hi everyone, we're Spell Garden Games, the developers of Sticky Business. We drew our inspirations from the small businesses and creators we saw popping up on social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages, and learn about their customers' wholesome stories. So we wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. I'm glad we're sticking around for the cozy sim, Sticky Business. You've got a sticker shop to run, so let your imagination run wild as you create stickers and ship them off to customers. Yeah, that's kind of what our friends do. There are over 400 elements to choose from when creating your stickers, yeah. okay. and you can get upgrades for even more options. Wow, boba, ice cream, books, pizza, and raccoons? Oh, there's plenty more. And you can add effects like glitter and sparkles. So combine whatever elements and effects you want to design your artistic adhesive. We actually have some friends in but real no life that run a sticker business its customers. online. Each one will ask for different Kinda stickers. Cool. And by fulfilling their requests, not Very only will cool. you impress your customers, I don't know if I really want to play a game also about learn more that, about though, their but... lives. From a music teacher striving to these motivate her students to a dad to, who wants to cheer up like, his pop up child. after the pandemic, so about Each four years now. Each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Plus, 
The Plan With Me paid DLC adds 10 more customer stories and over 100 sticker elements. They just say DLC for an indie game? Washi tape and frames. No thanks. Get ready to build the cutest shop ever. In sticky oh, business. sticky business. Both the game yeah. and DLC, game and DLC available. Console console so this is coming out today Nintendo if you guys Switch wanted to see Later it. today. That's A bundle cute. of the game and DLC will also be available later today. Indie game with DLC. If you're looking for explosive, calming, or mysterious journeys, we've got you covered with this trio of upcoming indie games. Check them out. Indie showcase time. Ah! That does it! I'm gonna find out who did this and blast them into teeny tiny little pieces! Have a blast in Anton Blast. The devil himself stole your like prize Wario spirit with a hammer. and you're on a I'm rampage to get it back. Wield the mighty Very hammer. expressive, like, 90s-esque uh, gameplay. <clears throat> it does look like Wario. Or the massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Smash up levels like concrete jungles not too bad. I mean, I don't think that's going to be an incredibly to long game. their paths and find new areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, a detonator will start ticking down. So you've got to rush back to the beginning before everything explodes. Oh, I don't like time levels. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast, launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system November November? 12th. A demo will be available later today okay, there's a demo. on Nintendo eShop. I'd be open to looking at the demo. A riveting first-person adventure awaits in Valley Wreck it Ralph Peaks. times Wario. As the new yeah. Technician assigned to the peaks, you'll climb, glide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains, setting up radio towers so the locals can hopefully reconnect with the world. But with boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks to help make climbing easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. No release date, that's troubling. From the creators of Year Walk Device 6, Sayonara. Hmm. It's a noir mystery game. It's locked. I don't know about you guys, but I would be up to doing a demo stream this morning of that Wario Wreck-It Ralph clone. It might be fun. I guarantee you this is rated M. May 16th. Lorelei and the Laser Hi, Eyes. Hi, I am Elder Pinto, the creator of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time, and since then, it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. I wanted it to be a meditative experience and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able mm -hmm. to put the player in a oh, state of awesome. flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. Some say that humans brought life to Europa. If you ask me, all we did was unlock the life that was sleeping within. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. That is why I'm sending you ahead. Oh, this looks cute. An exploration adventure game. Mm -hmm. And this was in development during the pandemic. Doesn't look too bad for an indie title at all. 
it doesn't look like you can fight in it though. It's just kind of like a adventure, like journey based game. If anyone can decide about tomorrow, unless that weapon on his back is just you know for show. Um, seems like it's very heavily on the platforming mechanics. Looks beautiful, so sounds of That's a very chill game. It's your future. Wow. Demo available later today. Europa. Europa. Okay. Order up some pizza because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are back. Nintendo Switch in their very first radical roguelike adventure, Leonardo, Whoa! Donatello, and Michelangelo must travel through reality. A team and team rogue game? Their kidnapped master Splinter. With each run, you'll fend off the totally. How is this an indie title? They're licensed. What? Your abilities with power um, but no two runs are the same. Upgrade your turtle powers to grow stronger and shred through the story. Whoa. Each have their signature weapon. When? Awesome ability. When? For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing. I knew there were two TMNT games this year. During each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to customize your. Wait, I think this is actually based on a mobile game. Devastating combos. Don't get too attached That's though, cool. because these powers but I'm not reset sure. when a run Basically ends. Dead Cells more Ninja customization Turtles? options await back at your sewer home, where you can spend in-game currency you earned on your runs on permanent upgrades called artifacts. Pick the turtle and wait, 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 no, it's Ninja Turtles Diablo. <laughs> Enjoy exploring iconic locations yeah, solo it does or look jump like that. online. When, when, when? Bodacious buds in co-op play. Your team of turtles can drop in and out whenever they want, making for a no press play sash. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja oh, Turtles July. launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Console Switch. exclusive? Pizza's here! Nice. Whoa! Way to go! I guess we'll be doing that one. Yeah, we will. But how is that a... Oh, they're bringing Cat Quest back? Cat Quest 3? Somebody should sell Brittany Luna. Cat Quest 3. Oh, yeah. I loved Cat Quest. I think I beat the second game. I'm pretty sure I did. They've added more animation to this as well. Turn the tides with your own ship and become a pirate. Take to the high seas where no furball has gone before. <laughs> For they don't fear the water, as you may think. They fear being attacked by other pirates. The high seas play with the matey and local co-op. Don't they look adorable with their little eye patches? Yar. So they went from um, having medieval stuff to now they're pirates. So two games as a medieval adventure, and now this one is all about uh, pirates. Very cute. Furball oh, yeah, pirates. This is Cat Quest. This is Cat the Quest. The third one. Cat Quest the third, coming August eighth, two thousand twenty-four. Nice. So what do you from Phuket, Cup? I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director, and this is my amazing wife and artist Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hooks for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are a fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar of our producer Tanin. Some content category, like mystical creature, for example, originated from our players. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy, happy stitching. So at the cup. Happy stitching. Happy stitching. <laughs> and a penguin. <laughs> Here's the nitty-gritty on this cozy game. 
you'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery uh, patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid. This while is a very definition of a cozy overlaps. game. Yeah, Figuring John out Cole exactly where stitch earlier, is key um, to completeting the hoop. Switch From is like the hub of cozy and teddy bears to real life locations. There used to be Xbox there are on point. all sorts of all hoops for you games. to needle mm, and noodle. Xbox not doing too well. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought. Oh, are going to be upset Complete about hoops in switch, whatever but... order you'd like. No matter yeah, which Ninja hoop Turtles you choose, exclusive. each one has the potential to offer what I'm, a relaxing what I'm and is calming experience that you can that? also enjoy with touch controls in be, handheld um, mode. After completing a hoop, you most can play likely it's coming to mobile because notice that they said console exclusive. So it's probably going to come to mobile and PC, and then Don't it'll be exclusive worry, to Nintendo Switch. A handy hint Switch. feature can like, be used you know, for at consoles. any time. Consoles being Xbox, PlayStation, stuff like that. You can also that tailor sense. your experience with various So that rumor that I heard about a second settings. Ninja Turtles game coming in 2024 was spot on. Try the limited time I had no idea it was a roguelike game. Puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll yeah, really need to put cool. your thinking cap on. I don't think they'll have Weekly voice hoops are it, also it's, available. It's be like a, Each one is inspired kind of like by real Diablo life West events Dead and Cells filled with thing. trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later stitch today. Stitch is only for Switch. Ha! See what I did there? Stitch is only for Switch. Before That's we right. go, let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Volleyball game. The Turtle game is already on Apple Arcade? Okay, that's what I figured. When they said console exclusive, that means it's already on mobile. Well, I'm still looking forward to this. So right now we're seeing a highlight reel of uh, games coming out. Yeah, I don't think that it's over yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be. I don't know. But I am going to be doing a demo thing. Either I'm going to be doing that Europe thing this morning, or I'm going to do that uh, Wario thing. Yeah, the Europa one was really pretty. Maybe you can do like a combination. Oh, there's your no. crab game. Okay. Oh, there's the crab game! What happened to the crab game? There's still What's no happening? release date. We've What's happening with my crab one game? last announcement before we run out of steam. Take a look. Where we run out of steam. You should do the one that stands out to you that you think would be fun. Get ready to sail the spectacular steam World seas Heist in this is long considered an indie game too. Steam World sequel. I didn't know that. The waters of the world have turned deadly, corroding the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn-based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Point, shoot, and let those bullets bounce. Oh my gosh, it's worms this time with around, robots. You can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. Oh, the crab game is April 25th. Equip your submarine with a variety oh, of weapons and fight. items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. I guess I was more excited about looking forward You can forward even to befriend steam bots along the way, out. recruit them to your cause, and matter. embark need, on an epic voyage to together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in-depth character customization, along with over 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steambot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. So many hats! Take aim and last bots to bits when... SteamWorld Heist 2 ricochets onto Nintendo Switch August 8th. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed the games in today's showcase. 
A big thank you as always to our indie community and partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until mm. next time, happy gaming! Hey! Yeah, I, I, what's I, happening here? I'll sue! Oh, um... I guess we're gonna watch it again and then commentate on it. Yeah, how do we rewind? So that was actually a short um, indie showcase. Zelda literally That's fell very... asleep during Zelda's it. like, yeah. She fell... <laughs> there was nothing exciting for Zelda. She completely fell asleep. She's like, let me think about this. Dead. Oh, Link's like, time to wake up. Smack in the face. Zelda's like, I will end you. You will face my fury. Alright, so then we're gonna bring the volume down. Alright guys, so this is a recap of the Indie Showcase in case you missed it. For 2024, March 17th. Ooh, ooh, guys, guys, the showcase wasn't that bad. Let's not fight. <laughs> More Indie Games. Alright, let's uh, find out the name. Oh, that one All game right, that I so want to cover. We'll, yeah, we can look at what people are saying about it. So yeah, let us know what you guys think. We're going to watch it again. We can put the volume slightly down. Oh, it looks like I already did. So, I already did. Okay, so we already watched this, guys and gals. So This is a recap. I'll just so read this is, some... This is the cat game. Yeah, here's the cat game. This, uh, this was cute where they had a filter on the one person and then they switched it to the other person. I want another Xenoblade, says Jonathan Swift. Random penguin dude was on that other. Yep, definitely. Um. So, what did you guys think about the indie showcase? Any any thoughts of people that stood out? I really like the Europa one; looked really cool. And of course, Luke liked the Wario type game, and I'm excited for the Crab game whenever that's actually coming out. So this game looks really cute. Little Kitty Big City, Double Dagger Studios. Never heard of them before. Nope, never heard of them. But it looks adorable. Pretty cute. I guess I'm kind of like a... Now, I don't mind if the graphics are perfect, but if the graphics are all like orange and brown and like very muddy colors, it bothers me. Not that this game is like that, but that other game that was like that. I, I don't think I could play that. <laughs> Want something shiny. I loved the indie game showcase. Awesome, William. The cat game looks adorable. Like, you get to mm -hmm. play as a cat, do all kinds of mischief that you can see here. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of, like, a more toned down version of Stray. Yeah. Except instead of the focus of a cat exploring a post apocalyptic world, you get to explore your neighborhood. Yeah, definitely. Have a little cat mischief. Yeah, you get little hats. Look, you have a little cone hat, like you're a cone. The fact that you're actually tripping people over is somewhat disturbing, but, I mean, you are a cat. Little Kitty Big City. Their uh, logo is cool. Zelda, they made a game for you. May 9th. That's coming up in literally... Two not, weeks? Yeah. Oh, weeks. wow. This one is surprising to me. Like, this is the way forward game. Mm-hmm. It's actually kind of adorable. Yeah, futuristic world. Way forward games are always up my alley. They are the king of platformers, bar none. From the developers of River City Girls and Shantae, it says. Now, the, the thing that's surprising to me is the fact that Atari um, became indie. Yeah, well, I mean, they have to do something to survive. I mean, they don't really have a console anymore, sadness. Well, not just console, they used to be a pretty decent-sized game developer. Yeah. For quite a like, while. Even Sega was is their own company, not really indie. That's how Atari survived, like, the 2000s, as they became, like, a, a game uh, developer slash publisher for quite a while. Yeah. Sammy was saying that other game is a timed exclusive with the Ninja Turtles. Okay. All right. Thank you for the high. Uh, thank you for the highlighted message, Man Spider. Thanks for being a member for 15 months, Man Spider. Says us Ninja Turtle fans are eating good lately. Yep. A Ninja Turtles game in April, and then a Ninja Turtles game in July. Although right now, if you guys wanted to play the Ninja Turtles game that they showcased today, <sighs> uh, that's a console exclusive for Switch, you can check it out on your mobile device. I don't know if they said there was going to be crossplay or not, but 
you know. Yeah. I'm excited for Europa, TMNT, and Cat Quest 3, says Savan. Awesome. Cat Quest 3 really surprised me because I've. I heard that they were doing something with Cat Quest, but you know, no one knew what they were up to. Mm. That's the thing. I'm excited for Anton Blast, the Wario like game, and TMNT, says Leader Gator. Cool, Leader Gator. Mm -hmm. So, that other one uh, Sammy was saying is a timed exclusive for the Ninja Turtle one. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. This one, as soon as they showed it, I was like, hard pass. Um, I don't know why. I just really, literally, if the the characters were a little bigger and more defined and not brown and orange and yellow, like if this actually had more colors to it, I would probably more consider playing it. But it honestly looks like the game itself idea is more like I don't want to say boring, but you know. I, maybe it would surprise me, but honestly, I tried to play a game similar to that, uh, that bear game where it's bear and breakfast or whatever, and I just couldn't, I was like, this will be exciting, I'll do this indie game, and mm, no, it was too boring for me, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I tried it, I really did. Did the dog work on the game too? Because I mean, it, they're very inclusive developers. It in says <laughs> having pets help out. <laughs> it says that these are all the developers of the game. I mean, mm. it was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks. So many people like the concept that we Okay. Okay. HM Golbeck is excited for the crab game and TMNT. No, I'm just gonna say my opinion on this. I didn't say my opinion at first, but. I'm just gonna say this I don't really I really don't think that like they said some of their clients are people like teachers trying to get their kids to like music and stuff I really don't think that a teacher I could be wrong maybe they go above and beyond but literally you'd have to pay a company to make custom stickers because I've had to you know get custom things made before like I had to get stuff printed out to put on the wall and I've had to think get custom stickers made for like uh, I made my own um, uh, like uh, um, oh my gosh what are they called ornaments for Christmas and honestly it costs it can cost a lot for you to print custom stickers out so like if you were a teacher and you wanted to get your kids to like music just go to Walmart and buy a dollar thing of music stickers I well, maybe they're going above and beyond, but I just, I just don't think like they would. I think like co companies that hire people to make custom stickers are more people that are trying to get their logo on a sticker, and like sell it or something. But I'm, I'm just cynical. I'm a cynical person. I don't know what has made me so cynical. It's like almost like there's someone next to me who's just a cynical New Yorker that I've spent so many years with. Sticky business. Hey, don't blame this on me. <laughs> I did, I, I did nothing wrong. I don't think that a teacher would get a custom sticker for a class. I don't believe this. I don't believe that. I'm not believing the premise of the game. What games are we excited about? The Crab Game, PJ, and Europa. We'll be doing. We're doing this for next. Me. So Luke's excited about this. One. This will be happening at eleven o'clock. So oh, it, Luke is gonna do this. this I might. Is, this is I might be at the fast. park. I don't know. That's fine. And then when you said that's fine. You seem sad. No, you've got things to do. Uh, Luke wanted me to do this for them. No, I'm good. good. So Luke is excited about this game. Luke and I have different tastes in games, so. Looks excited about this game and TMNT uh, Diablo. TMNT Diablo. And he's excited about the way forward platformer because he loves platformers. I do like platformers. And I am excited about. I'm not excited about any of those games. I'm excited about the Europa game because it looks pretty. And I'm excited about the. Uh, the crab game and Luke is excited about Cat's Quest three. Mm. So we have different games we're excited about. Oh, and we're both excited about the cat game. I completely like didn't even notice this game at all when we first went across this game. 
Man. You're a technician and you have to technish things. I just don't know why they would choose this art style because it. I just don't like the art style. Why does that person. Oh, they are frogs. All of these people are frogs. Well, okay, it's growing on me. Why does it look like it was a project that was undone? Like, it's not all colored in. Someone forgot to color in the lines. From the creators of Year Walk Device 6. Alright, here's a creepy game with. This is Lorelei in the Eyes. Well, at least it has a memorable name. This looks like you're in the Matrix. Yeah, this is a. I'm pretty sure this is an M rated game that you're seeing here. Pretty, pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I'm gonna schedule this for. You're a frog in that game, says Prodigious. Ah! Prodigious Spider Star. Virtual Hug Sammy, thank you. The, in, the, the only game you're interested in is TMNT. Awesome, Isaiah. Except for TMNT, Luray is just interested in TMNT. That's fine. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. Alright, so I'm gonna download that game while this yeah. is going on. <laughs> this is adorable. Yeah, this one looks great. Yeah, that other that other one where it wasn't colored in the lines, Brandon was saying, it looks like it was made by little kids. It's like, I have to agree with that a little bit. This looks very beautiful. This kind of reminds me of uh, Breath of the Wild or something, but not, obviously. Well, it looks like it's supposed to be like an adventure person. The music is pretty. And you have an underwater area. Looks like an ancient civilization. Aqueducts from a long time ago. I, yeah, unfortunately I can't hear the, our TV isn't up that much. Oh, there's literally an island in the sky. That's cool. I feel like this was Zelda inspired. Yeah, very Zelda inspired, like a lot. Oh, look at you can go um, hang out with the little whales under the ocean, and deer. You even have a little glider. Yeah, this feels like it was so Zelda inspired. He looks like a little hobbit, to be completely honest. Little short person. Europa. Demo available later today. Alright, here's the game that everyone's excited for. TMNT Splintered Fate. Made by a company I, I didn't catch again. Why does this feel like um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance a little bit? With the top-down view. Hello, everyone. I'm not excited about any of it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, Isaiah. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple Isaiahs in the chat. Hello, Isaiah Carrier. Yeah, it does, Amber, says uh, Later Gator. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a Mar Marvel Ultimate Alliance or that X-Men, like, four-player game where you could, like, um, that's some of our favorite games. So we got uh, classic uh, TMNT villains. 
so it's saying you can play this online because it just had that disclaimer online. I don't know if you can play this couch play. Sugar Super Evil Megacorp is the name of the developer. And that's going to be coming out in a couple months. Super Evil Megacorp. Okay, here we go. Cat's Quest. A little anime. Very cute. Um, I'm feeling alright. Thank you, Sammy. Hope you're feeling okay, too. Luke is, uh, just doing- he's- he'll be right back. Hmm. Oh, there's a little mage Bonnie instead of- Oh, one of the famous uh, pirate, uh, ladies. Uh, Bonnie something. I forgot. So I like- so the whole game is gonna be a pirate theme, then. Turn the tides with your own ship. And maybe this will be more exciting than the other cat's quest. The other ones you were walking around. This one you'll be able to see. It's it's cat quest black flag. <laughs> now there's a game I wish I could do on this channel. But it's rated M is the uh, Assassin's Creed black flag would be fun. <laughs> That's really cool. You can shoot people from, like, on the world map. That's really cute. Cat Quest 3, coming August 8th. Pre-orders and demo available later today. The Cat Quest demo is available today. What? The Cat Quest 3 demo is available today. Ooh. I didn't know that. Oh... Just got home from work. Oh. Well, I hope you have a good sleep, Sammy. Thanks for uh, coming by the stream. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wish there were better games, says Jessica. Yeah, so Cat's Quest, a lot of demos are going to come out today, though. We got the, I think the Europa demo, which looks kind of like a Zelda-inspired uh, game. The I don't know if the Ninja Turtle demo is available today. I don't know. And then you have the... Um, um, the Cat's Quest demo is available today. And that Wario type game is available today. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key. <sighs> I just from roller skates and teddy bears to real life locations, there are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Hoops come in different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops. Or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought. Complete hoops in whatever order you'd like. No matter which hoop you choose, each one has the potential. I just don't know. I don't want to know if I'm allowed to say this, but I kind of feel like maybe this could get somebody into stitching or into whatever this is called. But I kind of feel like if I was actually going to start to do crochet, I would just do the real thing instead of play game on it. But of course, I mean, people say that about Guitar Hero as well, and people play Guitar Hero, so. Want more of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Weekly hoops are also available. I mean, maybe I could do this in the morning or something. <laughs> Just to have something on. <laughs> to put people to sleep. Yeah. I could do this at night in the evenings. Help you guys get to bed. <laughs> then I'll literally fall asleep on my own stream. Uh. I'm not excited for most of it. JS, aw, you're welcome. You guys are amazing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you too, Sammy. Thank you so much. Why do indie developers always make their characters so small? 
Like, yeah, so I don't hard. know why. It's so hard to see. <laughs> Chad is excited about the stitching game. He says, "Yeah, stitching game, definitely." G O T Y. Oh. They chose some really good music for this highlight yeah, reel. Yeah, this is cool music for the highlight reel. I feel like I'm abandoning Luke to make him do that Wario game on his own. I'm fine. Duck detective. Oh my gosh. Investigate Tear Sad. There it is, another crab's yes, treasure. Yes, another crab's treasure. Available April 25th. I'm actually looking forward to that Dark Souls crab game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it looks adorable. Yeah, you have to pick up pieces of plastic and use them as weapons. <laughs> you have to trash the enemy. Mm. This was their big thing. Steam World is pretty popular, I guess. Uh. I guess. The waters of the world have turned deadly, corroding the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. <laughs> now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Point, shoot, and let those bullets bounce. This time around, you can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. Yeah, but it kind of looks like a game that I would have played on a DS like seven years ago. <laughs> because of the the size of the ship and stuff. Mm. Yeah, again, very small characters. I can't see myself playing this game, especially with the fact that there's the crab game coming out and the TMNT game. But the question is, why are all these games coming out the last week of April? You've got the TMNT game, the um, arcade beat-em-up is the last week of April. You've got Sandland from Toriyama, which is the last week of April. You have the crab yeah. game, which is the last week. You, there's like four games that are all coming out the last week of April. It's insane. Yeah, maybe people had to... They, they could have spaced it out a little bit because April was completely barren. Yeah, there was nothing there. There was nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, that doesn't come out until August. So yeah, the takeaways are that WayForward game, the Europa game, which looks cool. TMNT game probably is number one people are excited about. Not the, I mean, the stitching game looks very nicely done, like, it looks really good graphics, but no. Um, and the cat game looks cute. Happy gaming. God bless and happy gaming. It sounds nicer with the God bless in front of it. It's the God bless is supposed to be in front of it, because we're the ones who created that catchphrase. T almost yeah. uh, 15 years now. Anyway, um... <laughs> So uh, that's going to do it for our Indie Showcase. There's no reason to look at it again. Next up, guys, in about uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> Chances, I can't see myself playing that game because I can't mm. see the characters. <laughs> can't see the characters, yeah. <laughs> Bifocals required to play some of these indie games. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo Switch, you can discover exciting worlds to play. Oh, that's that's a Nintendo thing. Do they have anything like Anton Blast or anything? Like a, I never finished this game. I almost did. It just didn't right, do I that well. I interrupted Luke's uh, uh, outro, so now we're uh, never going to end the stream. Uh, well, I got all messed up. What, what am I are supposed we to doing? Do? What are you doing? We I, have to end the stream. I wanted to see if they had a more Anton Blast thingy. I don't know what Anton Blast is. Is That's that a the, person? Yes, it's Anton Blast is a person. He's I a don't person know who, who that is. Be. I don't know who that is. Is it some per celebrity? What are you talking about? It's a, it's a total celebrity. Um, so anyway, oh. guys, uh, I will be looking at the... Um, uh, Anton Blast game in 15 minutes. Oh, the game. Oh, the people yeah. that made the game you were mm -hmm. looking at. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I kind of want to have it on in the background while I talk about it. Oh Where, is it? Where 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 is the explosive thing? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. okay. Yeah, so this is basically like a Sega Genesis game come to life um, with like old 90s art styles. You get two playable characters. The demo is out today. So I'm going to have to go download it, and then I'll be ready to start around 11 o'clock. So this more or less looks like, you know, Genesis game on uh, 
hyper stuff today. <laughs> mixture between Wario, Wreck-It Ralph. Looks like a blast. I mean, literally, it's called Anton Blast, so... It looks like it was made in the 90s. It looks like it was made in the 90s, and I, I think that's what I really like about the aesthetic, so... I'm, yeah. I'm excited to do that. There will be um, stream showcasing uh, demos for that Europe game, as well as uh, there will be a demo of uh, Cat Quest 3 sometime this week, so look forward to that. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, head on over to the Anton Blast stream. You guys will be redirected to that, and I'll see you there uh, after I download the game, because it's going to take me a little bit to download the game. Awesome. Thank right. you guys for watching, and let us know in the comments below the video what what you guys thought about the showcase and what games you're excited for. The Ninja Turtles one is really cool. Or, Sorry, I keep interrupting Luke's outro. I'm just Keep interrupting my outro. How dare you? All right. So, All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next stream, which will be 15 minutes tops. Cowabunga. Right.